Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. Today we're going to talk about mob handling. Um, actually we're going to talk about morbs, creature, encapsulator and the uh, centrifugal separator which is actually more than just about mobs but I think that's the most fun part. But we'll get back to that um, after covering this part. So morbs, what are they? Well. A morb is a mob orb, in short. There are two types. You craft them simply by combining slag, soul sand, ender pearl and slime or rosin. And then, then you get the normal single use morb and then you can upgrade it with some signalum nuggets into reusable morb. And the difference is, of course, that the single one is um, practically a single use. Actually, you have a 25% chance of uh, getting it back, but uh, we'll demonstrate exactly how it works. So let me just double check that we are not in peaceful. And perhaps we should jump into survival as well. Okay, so let's spawn something. Zombie captured. So you right click to throw it just like a snowball or something like that. And we have captured the zombie that I put out. Let's spawn a cow as well. And we can get it back. All right, and now we can put it out in the open. So I throw the orb and that orb was actually not returned. And then the... As as you perhaps had time to see, that one was actually released again. And just to keep you quiet. Okay, two, two morbs, zombie and cow, and 25% uh, chance of getting it back. So let's try the reusable ones instead. So here we have a skeleton. Let's do the same thing. So we have a reusable morb, and we can throw it back, capture again, and as you could see we we got the morb, the morb back. Well, let's capture a pig as well. Okay, so now we can capture them, we can release them. Is there anything else we can do that is more fun? Well, we can capture them in a more automated and controlled way. This device uh, does not require any power. It's called the Creature Encapsulator, and you can set it to capture all hostile or passive mobs. So let's have it on all. And this device will actually capture all, um, all of these mobs within an 11 by 11 by 11 block radius. So five blocks in each direction. And the only thing you have to do is to keep some mobs inside. Let's start with two, and as you can see here, I have it to auto output into the right side. So this strong box. And these are from my testing, all right. So we have four slots left over, remember that. Okay, so let's uh, throw a pig, and it was captured directly. And let's throw the skeleton as well. Perfect. And then let's try to have reusable ones instead for the pig. And some. So here they are. I guess one stacked here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we can capture them. And the only thing you need to do is to fill this with the morbs. Uh, you can insert them from any side and like any normal machine or device. Normal or reusable, doesn't matter. It works just fine, either one. So let's leave that for now and come back to mobs in just a little while. Um, first, we're going to talk about the centrifugal separator. So this machine does require power. I've upgraded it to a resonant level. So you can put in some augments here. 
I have it to input from the right and then output to the left and to the top. So the separator will actually do exactly what it says. It will separate uh, well items and blocks into their components. So for example, the concrete powder crafted from sand, gravel and, and uh, some dye will, if we run it in the separator, turn them back into gravel, sand and maybe some, maybe some pigments and so on. So the only thing you need to keep track of is the amount of, uh, of uh, items you put in here. So if you put one powder in here, nothing will happen. You have to put two and so on. Same thing with the blends that will give you the nickel and iron back, uh, but you need to have the correct amount. And this will of course be different with other mod packs. You will have more recipes probably. Some of them will give a fluid output as well. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's run it. I have some sugar canes, some magma cream, and dust, some blend and everything. Let's turn it on. So the sugar cane will be turned into sugar. Oh, I had some old stuff left here. And, uh, and water as well. And these dusts will be made into powders and uh, niter and other things. Invar blend will be turned into iron and nickel and now we're getting the aluminum and so on. So very easy to use, just provide, provide it with power and you'll get many other things back and sometimes perhaps you are you, you're capturing or collecting magma creams and you want the blaze powder, whatever. You can upgrade it with augments, reception coil, you have seen it in most of the machines, gives you more speed, but it costs more energy. Auxiliary receive uh, will increase the chance of a secondary output. That me probably means these ones that has a 10% chance and, and so on. These are 100%, so they will not be affected, I guess, and, and so on. And then the nullification chamber, which will destroy excess secondary output. We have covered those before, nothing new. But the final augment, the, the most fun part, is the end stabilization apparatus. This will, it has a tab of its own, and you place your morbs in it. The same morbs that we captured over here. So I prepared it with quite a few blaze, magma cube, chicken, sheep, zombie, enderman, blitz, blaze, and villager. So let's, before I start it, and now this is empty, let's quickly check the recipes because magma cube will maybe get you some magma cream and maybe sulfur. And if you use the normal morbs, I have only normal here, not the reusable ones you will maybe get it back, 25% chance. Now, maybe, I'm saying maybe because I haven't really tried it. Increased chance of secondary output, perhaps a few sieves in here, like I put here, can increase that chance, but I haven't really tested it, so feel free to. And so you get from zombies, rotten flesh, and maybe some iron and all of these things. But note as well that you will get essence of knowledge. Different amounts, and uh, not for all. Uh, let's see, I think villagers are not. Uh, let's see here. Villager, apparatus, yes, zero knowledge, but you will maybe get an emerald. Okay, so let's run it and uh, see what we'll get. So first of all, the blaze. See, we got the more back and sulfur blaze rod. And then we have the magma cream coming from the magma cube, chicken, and so on. So I don't think there's so much strange with this. It, prob it gives you what you expect, basically. 
So how can we do something fun with this? Well, of course, we can combine the capture part and the uh, and the processing part. And since we can use reusable morbs, let's jump into creative and go over here. Since you can use reusable, then of course you will be able to put them in a loop. It can, sounds like we have something going on in there. Okay, so anyway, I have a dispenser here with lots of these mobs. So let's just throw them in there. Now things should start to happen. In there we have a captured... Let's see, are we getting anything? Yep, here we got something. So that's a witch and a zombie and as you can see I put a buffer chest here. So this buffer chest will, since these don't stack, and it can be good to have a buffer just to prevent them from falling down on the ground. And this will separate them into everything. We'll get our knowledge over here, or drops here. And I have blacklisted the reusable morb here, so it will be sent back to the, to the capture. We have much left here. Sounds like we have a few of them not getting captured. Oops. Perhaps you spawned too close to the to the wall and just jumped outside. So in here it pretty much looks like you expect an empty room with the encapsulator in the center and we have the morbs just coming back and going over here. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers the entire system. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Uh, with this episode, I think we're pretty much done with the uh, thermal expansion, unless I've forgotten anything. So if you miss anything, now it's time to tell me, and uh, otherwise this series will soon be over. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.